consider a force like gravitation, which varies predominantly inversely as the square of the distance, but which is about a billion, 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 billion times stronger. And with another difference, there are two kinds of matter, which we can call positive and negative. Like kinds repel and unlike kinds attract. Unlike gravity, where there is only attraction. What would happen? A bunch of positives would repel with an enormous force and spread out in all directions. And a bunch of negatives would do the same. But an evenly mixed bunch of positives and negatives would do something completely different. The opposite pieces would be pulled together by the enormous attractions. The net result would be that the terrific forces would balance themselves out almost perfectly by forming tight, fine mixtures of positive and the negative. And between two separate bunches of such mixtures, there will be practically no attraction or repulsion at all. There is such a force, the electrical force. And all matter is a mixture of both positive protons and negative electrons, which are attracting and repelling with this great force. Wow. Now, I actually wrote down about five or six ways to uh, introduce charges and, and the forces between them, thinking about what would be the best way to start this topic. And then, then I read Feynman's uh, version of it. And I realized that there probably isn't a better way to introduce this new idea called electric force better than he has. If you read those lines, you begin to notice the amount of simplicity in them really heights the depth to which they're going. And we're going to spend the next some time really taking those sentences and unwrapping them to understand really what he tries to tell in those very few lines. So what's the basic idea? Just like mass is a property of matter, there's one more that we call charge. Except that charge comes in two types. One we call positive and the other we call negative. Now what's interesting is that in the case of mass, all mass attracts each other. We call it gravity. But in the case of charge, like ones, in other words, positives and positives, and negatives and negatives, want to get as far away from each other as possible. But the unlike ones, positives and negatives, want to be as close to each other as possible. They attract. We call it. Now the interesting thing is that this attraction or repulsion actually reduces as these charges get further and further away. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's the learning app today.